Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Matthew and today we are doing another edition of Collecting with Matthew, which, as the name suggests, Collecting with Matthew, I am giving you guys, me, Matthew, um, some advice, tips, and tricks about collecting your favorite kaiju figures and, uh, you know, maybe we'll learn something along the way. Today's episode is going to be revolving these guys, the NECA Godzillas. Granted, there's way more than this, but these are what I grabbed off the shelf. That being said, NECA's Godzilla line is arguably one of the most popular Godzilla figure brands of literally all time. These figures really left an impact and literally changed Godzilla figures as we know it. Why were these figures so special? Well, simple. They are 6 to 7 inches tall. They're, they at retail ranged for about 20 bucks at Walmart, Target, or Toys R Us when that was still around in the States. And were very highly articulated, very high quality, QC issues be damned, and very highly posable. Because, let's be honest, these things were like essentially a poor man, even though these guys were very high quality. A version of an SH Monster Arts figure. And for a while, NECA was actually dominating Monster Arts for a little bit. So, what happened? Basically, NECA lost the license to Godzilla in 2020 after Playmates took over and was mass producing, so all figure companies had to stop making Godzilla figures that wasn't Playmates in order to avoid competition. NECA decided not to renew the license because of this because what's the point in paying for a license that you can't even use kind of thing. So NECA stopped and I'm still heartbroken to this day if I'm being honest. But NECA in that time produced 25 figures counting Reactor Glow which was a Loot Crate exclusive and pretty much speaking had all of the necessary things you know to be a uh, all great figure company and great figure line. With that being said there is a lot of things that, you know, throughout the many years that NECA Godzillas have had. Simply put, these things are becoming rarer as we speak. Like, it's taken me, like, a good amount of time to find a NECA Godzilla, and I'm very close to completing line. I have 21 of the 25 figures, again, counting Reactor Glow, that, you know, I could get. And, uh, overall, I'm still pretty satisfied so far. So, we're going to be talking about how to find NECA Godzillas in 2023. Keep in mind, I'm recording this on March 7th, 2023. So, again, it may vary throughout the future. But I think that this is probably your easiest way to go. So, what is this way? Well, simple. It is a little friend we like to call eBay. Now, hold up. I know. eBay is sketchy as hell. And yeah. I do agree with that. However, eBay has a lot of advantages and disadvantages. But from what I have seen, it seems to be the most frequent in terms of, you know, posting Godzilla items. And I'm sure there's some other like third party site, but we're talking major retailers like BBTS, Amazon, and eBay. BBTS is wiped clean. Like, you search up NECA Godzilla, there's no results. Everything is sold out. Amazon is filled with a bunch of knockoffs. Like, I guarantee if you try to buy, like, a NECA Godzilla 2019, let's say, you're going to be receiving this crushed-in box, messily painted, and broken in the packaging Godzilla figure. With eBay, on the other hand, that's a bit of a different story. Because eBay, you know, a lot of sellers, that's what a lot of people will go to to list something when they don't need it anymore. And I know eBay's the pretty much a sole place for scammers and scalpers, but here's how to essentially avoid that. So first up, you're going to want to use the price plus shipping lowest first option. What I have seen is that, yeah, there are a lot of bids, but you can easily avoid those bids. I think there's, like, an option for that. If not, yeah. Um, you're going to be seeing a lot of those, but you want to find something that you can buy right away. 
keep scrolling down until you see the figure that you want. When you see that first listing, that's the fit lowest price for said figure. If you don't want to pay that much, let's say it comes with a beam, the body, but no tail. Because they, they do come in those sort of ways. Then you don't like the fact that it doesn't come with the tail. Okay, cool. Move on to the next listing. But make sure that that listing, when you check it, you check the reviewer. Or so you check the users, the sellers' reviews. Because on eBay, you can actually review the person in question. And I think it's out of five stars. So tr try to see if, like, they're a really experienced seller. And the shipping from where they are from. Because, let's be honest, where they're from also kind of matters. Because, like, shipping costs and whatnot also does matter. Um... Like, in terms of eBay shipping, I have seen a ton of wacky stuff before. <laughs> um, I myself, honestly, that's, like, my preferred way of shopping Godzilla's right now. Because rarely anything pops up locally anymore. But, with that being said, that's some things you gotta look out for. The biggest deal, or the best deal, in terms of price the highest reviewed seller that you can find and make sure that the pictures in question that they put on that listing are their own pictures their own pictures because if you don't because let's be honest some people love to use stock images of these NECA Godzilla's and that kind of is troublesome because now you don't know if that's legit or not because easily someone could put up a picture of this guy and then package a uh, let's say a bootleg bandai vinyl and sell it to you and boom they run away with the money and there's no way to get that back but yeah that's my honestly preferred way of buying mecha in 2023 but you're not limited to just that if you really want to take a gamble go on amazon be my guest but this is honestly my preferred way if this is not the way then again there's surely another way but at the end of the day, this is just a way of the many ways. <laughs> so, realistically, that's all I have for this video. If you guys liked it, definitely subscribe to the channel. Jesus loves you. God bless you all. Go out there and spread the gospel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, everyone.